Hi everybody. Hi everybody, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for catching up with us. For those who are retaining service, thank you so much. You are our day one, you make us who we are. We love you so much. If you're just bumping into our video, please click that subscribe button and hit that notification button to know when we post a new video. As you know, in this channel, we are all about financial literacy. We are uh, encouraging each other to learn more about financial literacy and learn yeah that's it okay <laughs> so this week we are talking about how to register a company through cipc these are for private companies you can be a sole owner or you can be partners this video will take you through on step by step on how to register a company but firstly let us tell you what you're going to need for you to be able to register the company you're going to need 125 rents to register a company 50 rents to reserve um, a name for your company you're going to need certified id copies of all the directors and incorporators and you're going to need the physical address where the company will be operating she will take you through the first step so the first step will be for you to go on your internet you will go to www.cipc.co.za <laughs> and then on your left hand side you will see that it will say customer login or customer registration we will assume that you have not uh, registered so you're gonna click on the customer registration whereby CIPC will prompt you to fill in some information for you to be able to register your account after this the second step for you it will be to log in into your account after you have logged in click on the transact and then after you click on the transact click on the banking details whereby you're gonna see the banking details of the CIPC this will help you to be able to deposit the 175 that we were talking about earlier which 125 is for your company and 50 rand is for your name reservation after this go back to your transact and click on the register a new company um, you're gonna register a new company through e-services. You go on transact and this is where you put the ID numbers of all the directors and incorporators and then um, When you um, you put in the ID numbers there on the right hand side You have an app sign where you can add the the next director That is where you have partners You're not only the sole owner where you can add other directors too and then you say continue It saves up that information you go to the next um, page where you now put more personal details of all the directors. Um, CIPC might have um, picked up some information from the ID numbers that you have provided. So some information might already be filled in. But if not, this is where you're going to put in the name, the same name, the email address, the cell phone number, the physical address of where the director lives and not where the business will be operating. Then you say um, save and then you continue to the next step. The next step, it will prompt you to company details. This is where you're going to put in the physical address of the company. You're going to choose the financial uh, year of the uh, month of the company. Uh, you're going to put in the email address of the company. It will best to create a new email. If this is a new company, you don't have an email address, it will be best to put in a, uh, to create a new email address for the company only and not use your personal details. The, the director who's busy mm -hmm. um registering the company on cipc mm -hmm. so you put on those details if you've got a website you put in those uh the website detail and so on and you click on you click continue and save um after this step this is where by you going to take you to name reservation yes this is where now you will need the 50 rand comes in as we said um the 50 rand you can deposit immediately when you deposit the 125 rand or you can deposit later this is if you are not sure of the company name you're gonna use or maybe you don't have enough money for you to be able to put in in the um to, for you to deposit you're gonna be given four options so this is the first one should be the name that you prefer your company to be mm -hmm. so you're gonna put four names that you you think that your company should be and then cipc will check the names and if the first one is already taken by another company they will reserve the second one if it's also taken the third one and the fourth one so forth and so forth so it's best that the first name is the one that you prefer and you would like your company to be named this of course we have discussed with all the directors of yes. the company and came up with all the names that and put forward in the CIPC um, website. So the next step will prompt you to, it's like a 
a summary page to say that these are the details you have put for the directors and the company details check if everything is okay this way you check you can modify edit uh the details if you have missed something if you want to change something maybe did you put in the correct cell phone number of whoever and so and so and if you are satisfied with all the information there at the bottom of the page it will prompt you to say launch company then you click that and then a message will pop up if everything has been filled in and the CIPC is it's satisfied, a message will pop up to say that a company registration has been filed. Then after that, we will immediately receive an email from CIPC to tell you that a company registration has been filed and they will also attach an application form where you need to sign it with all the directors of the and incorporators of the company. And when you return it back to CIPC, um, you also attach the certified ID copies that we talked about in the beginning of this um, video. Then you send it back to CIPC. CIPC then will verify your information and all the ID copies that you have submitted. And, and then once that and also check the name or uh, who you have chosen. And then once when they send you back the details, it will say that the name reservation has been made of whatever yes, name you have yes. chosen. And then <clears throat> they will send you all the documents relevant to your company yeah i think that's about it yeah. there is hardly a five minutes procedure that you can um use for you to be able to, to register, register a company guys let us not fall into those things where a person says let me register a company for you um you I need charge. to pay 800 rand guys we know we don't always know um all things but um the internet is there youtube is yeah. here um use this information read up and if then you don't know really know how to then ask a friend to help you ask yeah. someone to guide you through this thing it's really that simple mm. you don't need to waste any more money for you to um, pay another person and we understand that some people it's a business opportunity for them mm. because not everyone has time to do this or not everyone is willing to learn this thing yeah. but if you really want to get to know how to do it this is a simpler way for you to do it yeah so we hope you really enjoyed the video if you really enjoyed it hit like um comment down below and tell us um if you find this process easier or what other processes have you experienced and all those things thank you so much guys we'll see you on our next video thank you